Hi guys, welcome back. So this is the hair that I'm going to be showing you how to recreate. It's actually really simple, the only thing is it's quite time consuming. So make sure you allocate yourself enough time to get this. So if you want to see how I created this look, then just keep on watching because I'm just going to get straight into it. So to start things off, I'm using my Phyto7 hair cream and this is just really good for dry hair. I've only been using it recently but I really like it. I'll leave a link down below to everything that I'm using so you guys can check that out if you want in the description box. But my hair, just to let you know, is about 60% air dried. Then I'm moving on to my Moroccan oil and again doing the same thing, warming this up on my hands and applying it throughout my hair. Just focusing on the mid lengths and ends of my hair because if you apply these products to your roots then they're going to get greasy. Then after that I'm just taking my Beauty Works hairbrush, this is my favourite hairbrush ever because it doesn't tug at all and obviously just brushing the products through my hair so there's not a build up in any one area. And next I'm just taking my hair dryer, it's really old so I didn't want to list it and I'm literally just rough drying my hair. And the weirdest thing ever happened to me when I was blow drying my hair, so you'll see it now in two seconds. Moving on. Anyway, I'm moving on to my Tresemme Heat Protecting Spray. This is one of my favorites. It's really affordable and it doesn't leave your hair really sticky. So that's what I love. So I'm just spraying this all over my hair evenly. It doesn't matter if it gets on your roots because it doesn't make them greasy. And then again, just brushing it all throughout my hair. Next, I'm just sectioning my hair because we're going to be moving on to straightening it and I just find it easier to section my hair off. The straightener I'm using is my GHD straightener. These are my favourites. And yeah, I'm just going to begin to like lightly straighten my hair. Because we're going to be curling it, it's not really necessary to straighten it. I just don't like the way my hair is kind of naturally frizzy after I blow dry it. So if you want your curls to be a bit more smooth, then you can straighten it before you curl it, which is a lot of heat in your hair, so it's not really something that I would recommend. Then I'm just taking down the top half of my hair and sectioning literally the front bits of my hair. You, you can kind of see here what I'm doing. Basically, I'm just taking down bit by bit and straightening the unstraightened bits. I just find this the easiest for my hair because my hair is quite thick. So like I said, it's not really a necessary step. So if you don't need to do this bit, you can just ignore it. So after I finish straightening my hair, I'm going to clip in my extensions and the ones I'm using are from Foxy Locks. These are the 20 inch seamless clip-ins and they're in the shade Latte Blonde. I do have a discount code for the Foxy Locks extensions so I will leave that in the description box below the video so make sure you check that out. So I'm just brushing through the extensions after I've clipped them in and sectioning my hair off so it's easier for me to curl it. So the curler I'm using is the InStyler Tulip. I will leave a link to it in the description box below. This has three different switches. The top one is to change the direction of the curl. The middle one is how long you actually want to curl your hair for. And the bottom one is to control the heat. So medium, high or low. So to use this curler, you need to use really small sections of hair at a time, which is why it takes so long. But the good thing is the curls last much longer by doing that. So you can see here, you just take the section of hair, place it into the curler and it automatically curls it up into itself 
and then it will beep when you're meant to let it go. It's so easy, it's just time consuming, but it's well worth it. So that's basically what I'm going to be doing throughout the rest of my hair. I'm just going to be taking my hair down section by section and then curling each bit. And you want to remember to always clip in your extensions before styling your hair. This just means that all the style will be seamless. If you were to curl your extensions before clipping them in and then curl your hair separately, it just doesn't match up and it looks kind of disconnected. So always clip them in before you style your hair. Like I said, I'm using the Foxy Locks clip-in extensions and if you haven't watched any of my videos then you probably don't know these are my absolute favourite hair extensions. They are absolutely amazing and I highly recommend them to anyone who's looking for new extensions. I will leave a link to the website below if you guys want to check it out. My shade is the shade Latte Blonde. It does come up a bit more ash just because of the lighting that I use to film. So bear that in mind, they're actually more warm tone in person. But yeah, like I said, these extensions are such good quality. They're really shiny and really thick and soft. And even though I have styled mine so many times, they still remain shiny and soft. But my favorites are obviously the seamless clip in range because they're the ones that I always wear, but they're really good because you can never see them when they're clipped into your hair. Like now you cannot see any of the extensions that I have clipped in, even though I'm moving my hair around. And believe me, I have tons clipped into my hair. So I really recommend the seamless range. Also, you want to remember to change the direction of the curl on the curling wand before you move over to the other side of your head just because you want the direction to change. You don't want the curl to be all of the same direction because you want it to go away from your face on either side. So this is the hair after you finish curling it and what I do is I just take my L'Oreal Elnat hairspray, this is the extra strength, and spray through the curls now. I don't spray a lot of it on, it doesn't matter if you do because this brushes out really nicely. And I'm just taking down the front sections of my hair and I'm only curling these really lightly because I don't want them to be as curly as the rest of my hair. So I actually turn down the curler to 3 seconds as opposed to 8. Then what I'm doing is just holding onto my hair because I don't want the extensions to pull out when I'm brushing it, but I'm brushing through the curls. This just breaks them up so they're not as ringletty and also it gives them a bit more volume and kind of makes them more bouncy. So if that's the look that you're going for, then I recommend brushing through your hair, but not too much because it will take the curl out, so just lightly. And then you should be left with softer, bouncier waves just like this. So this is the finished hair. As you can see it's really voluminous, really bouncy. What I like about this is obviously on day two or three the curls kind of start to fall out but you still are left with a really nice wave in your hair so you can actually get a good few days out of this hairstyle. Like I mentioned before it's really easy to achieve just the only thing is it's really time consuming. So obviously you want to make sure that you allocate yourself enough time to achieve this if you're going out. If you find that your hair doesn't really hold hairstyles as easy as other people, then I always recommend styling your hair on day two or day three, depending how greasy your hair gets. I'd say day two. <laughs> but yeah, that is the end of the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something new. If you enjoyed it, please give the video a thumbs up because it really helps me out. And if you're not already, subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can keep up to date with all of my new videos. But that is it for now and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!